Hello everybody, this is Sharon. Welcome to my channel. I came on today to share some sticky note pads that I created. Um, I thought you guys might be interested in trying some out, so this is going to be a process video. Um, they measure approximately 4 by 6 and I just picked the um, sticky note pads up at, at Walmart. And so I'm just kind of going over some things with you guys that I'm going to be using doing the project. And um, like I said before, I just got the sticky pads at Walmart. Um, you can refill these when they start uh, running out. You just go back and buy more sticky pads or wherever. And like I said, these are the 4x6, so you can you know probably purchase these anywhere. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started here. I thought they turned out so cute. The paper that you're going to use is the 110, 110 pound white cardstock that you can buy at Michael's. And these are the measurements right here. And I did do these pretty simple, so if you guys are, if I have some newbies on here watching, um, hopefully they'll be able to uh, create these with no problems. But as always, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. I'll be glad to help you any way that I can. And um, so this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, I like just having these on hand. You can just keep them in your purse to... You need to jot a, a note down or if you need to write something for your grocery list or you know just whatever um, I do like to keep them in there also we go camping and I like to keep some in our camper in case we need to pick up some stuff and write just a note down you can keep them in your car as well so um, but anyway I thought they turned out really cute and this is the Fabri-Tac glue I love this glue it's one of my favorite glues it will not warp your paper when you glue two papers together so um, you know some glues are water based and they will uh, warp your paper this one I believe it has alcohol in it I'm not sure but it dries pretty fast and it won't it won't warp your paper it's kind of expensive so you need you know you could use a coupon if you go to Michaels they also have it at our local Walmart so I purchase it there sometimes too if I'm in there but this is just some pink cardstock. It's the basil cardstock. And this is the post-it notes that I'm using. Like I said before, I just picked those up at Walmart. They measure 4 by 6 um, They over in where the school supplies and things like that are. That's where I picked these up. And you can get them in different colors. If these colors are too bright, you can pick them up in pastel colors or, you know, whatever color that you like. But I just wanted to do some coloring with uh, polka doodles. And so that's what I did. And I ended up creating these. Um, I just think they're so adorable. And I did color them with my Copic markers. So this is the Cherry Blossoms paper by Prima. And I was just trying to use that paper pack up. So that's the one I used here. I put some of the twine from, <clears throat> excuse me, from my collections on here. Just tied a little bow just from for some little decoration I thought it'd be pretty to go with the black papers and the pinks and the whites that's in here so I'm just in here and that down really good over there on the side where that uh, twine is and there's my little polka doodles I did put some um, chipboard on the back that just gives it a little bit of dimension and just to hear it down like that I didn't measure any of the papers after I got my base page, the white cardstock. I just um, put my paper up there, mark it with a pencil, and cut it out. But it's probably one eighth inch smaller than what the um, white cardstock is for each panel. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye.